Hi, I'm Helen with So Kind of Wonderful. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are working on our Chicken Points block, and I believe it is month five or block five in our Sedona pattern. You can see I have one behind me on my design wall. That is in the center of my medallion quilt that I'm working on. And then today we're going to work on this one. This is our sample, and this is the table runner that I'm working on. So let's get started making our chicken point block. Here's my fabric laid out, and I've already pre-cut these. These are two and a half inch strips. And so I have three different fabrics here, because when we make our chicken points block, you can see how we're making these four different units, and these two are a mirror reflection of each other. So we make four of the same thing, two going one way, two going the other. These are my center pieces to make my diamond at the end. So I'm going to lay this out and show you how that we need to draw the sew line on our background pieces. All right, this is the first step for sewing. Is It's super important because you're making a reflection image that you actually remember to draw the line going the right angle. There's a really good picture of this step on page 10. It's picture 5-2. So go ahead and lay these out. You know, draw your line from corner to two inch mark here, and then sew right on that drawn line. When you sew on the drawn line, you'll get this image. And now we're going to trim So I'm going to trim a quarter inch from that sewn line. So I put my quarter inch mark on the seam, trim off that extra, and now I'm going to press this open. And I'll press my seam towards my focus fabric so that my focus piece pops and is in front of my background. So go ahead and sew. Um, you've got 12 pieces for one block, so go ahead and sew them all, trim your fabric, and press. All right, here are my pieces all sewn together. And I have all 12 laid out. You can see on the back how I pressed towards my focus fabric. And what we're going to do here is actually make four blocks. So you're gonna sew these three together, these three, these three here, and then these. And I am going to press my seam open. Um, I think that will help with the seams, how they they're kind of fighting each other, so I'm going to press my seams open. Here are my four sets sewn together, and I did press the seams open. And now we have one more step. Here I have some two and a half inch squares, and I've already drawn a diagonal line on the wrong side. So we're going to position that just on the corner of each of these squares. here and here and I have my diagonal lines going like this so it'll form a diamond I'm going to sew on the line trim this side off a quarter inch from the seam so go ahead and do that step all right here is my chicken points block and you can see I sewed in the background square trim and press your seam I pressed it towards my focus fabric now I'm going to sew these two together, sew these two together, press my seam open, seams open, and then press the two rows together. All right, just a little bonus here. I'm sewing my blocks together, and my next step is to sew these and press the seam open. But I always like to play with the blocks at this stage and ask myself, what would it look like if I changed the layout? So you could do a couple things here. You could actually do that, which is a really fun block. Sew together, or this is also a fantastic option. So because this is the video tutorial, I will sew it together the way the pattern shows, but I think it's fun to play with your layout at this stage. Okay, here is my chicken points block, all sewn together. I'll show you the seams. I did press those open. 
It will help lay everything flat, and it's a really fun block to make. I did pick high contrasting fabrics here. I'm working with Scrappy Liberty of London fabrics. So high contrast, I really like how this solid diamond in the middle kind of toned down all of the different textures and prints I have going on, and it's very fun to make. Thank you for joining me today as we worked on our chicken points block was so kind of wonderful and our Sedona pattern. And just as a side note, the blocks in the Sedona pattern were made from different locations and landmarks around Sedona, Arizona. So there is actually a chicken points trail and a chicken point overlook. So that's where this fun block gets its name. So enjoy and we'll see you next month.